here with John Audet from the High Desert region, who uh, is the owner of probably one of the most looked at cars uh, this weekend here at the Concours. It's gotten a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, attention and people taking a look at it because it's very unique. Uh, he's going to talk about it. It's a replica of a uh, rally car, right? That's correct, yeah. I built it according to a, a bulletin that Porsche issued in 1968, specifications for building a sports purpose car, and I tried to follow those specifications in, in, in sourcing uh, NOS parts wherever possible. All right, well, let's take it to the car because this is a really, really neat car, and this is why it's getting a lot of looks. Why don't we start from the front? Um, it looks like it has rally lights, but you built this once again to the specifications. Uh, so what's the difference between the two sets of rally lights? Well, the, the CBs, we call them CBs, it's really CBA, but uh, they were often used on rally cars. They're very, very bright. You'll see some cars from the era that'll have them mounted uh, down by the fender, on the fender next to the headlights. Some put them on the hood. Uh, these are actually NOS CBs. They are making reproduction CBs now that are very nice. Uh, and these are also NOS uh, lens covers, which were exceedingly hard to find. And then these uh, through the grill fog lights, uh, there are any number of period lights that you can choose from. And I just basically, these are correct for the year. I just, I like the look of these. They came in chrome and I actually sprayed them black because I just like the way they look better. And it looks fantastic. So now we're going to ask you if you can lift up the uh, hood to see what, uh, what else you've done because there's an incredible amount of deep attention to detail on this car that uh, makes it really stand out and uh, once again has people just stopping by to take uh, long looks at it. Okay, this looks a little bit different than what we're used to seeing when we uh, open up a uh, 911 hood. So tell us what's, uh, what you've done different. Well, you can see the carpet's been removed and it's set up really to be functional uh, uh, as a rally car would be. It's got the 100 liter tank, which is the large tank they used in the day for the competition cars. Um, and actually is a pretty nice piece because it not only gives you longer range, but it uh, puts uh, more weight in the front of the car and gives you a little better balance, uh, reduces the oversteer just a little bit. And then things are secured as they would be if you were out on rough roads and so on. Um, which actually works for the track as well. I do track this car, uh, high performance uh, driving events. And uh, so everything's secured, uh, which is how it should be. So it's, it's really set up to be functional. I didn't follow any specifications for this. I just took a little poetic license and set it up the way you see it. It looks very unique. Uh, uh, cool factor's very high. Now we go to the interior and uh, I'll ask you to open the door here. And we've got uh, what appears to be our vintage racing seats. These seats started this whole slippery slope. Uh, I understand and Prescott Kelly verified that these are exceedingly rare. Uh, I came across these. They're, they're NOS. This is the first car they've been in. Uh, this is a competition driver seat and that's a competition passenger sport seat uh, from the era, 67, 68. And they were so rare and so neat that, that once I started with these, it just, I thought, you know, I, I think I can build a real uh, period car around these seats and, and that's kind of what got the whole thing started. I, I noticed also you got some looks like vintage rally clocks. Are they actually functional or is it just for the look? No, those are functioning. The uh, Those are Hoyers and uh, that's the Monte Carlo set. Um, and the only thing that doesn't function yet is the Halda uh, uh, odometer you see over there, that Twin Master. It needs a little specialty cog to hook up to this particular uh, uh, speedometer cable on this car, and I'm having a hard time finding one, it's in, which has been part of this whole process, is finding these parts. And so that's not hooked up yet, um, but everything else in the car is functional. One of the other things that we'll find on the passenger side, which I thought, once again, attention to detail, is a uh, snazzy uh, navigator light. So I guess for nighttime rallying, uh, where the navigator can read the... Uh, the instructions once again these little attention to detail that makes it unique so we come over here to the uh to the heart of the car uh and boy it, it's beautiful so we're looking at what size engine this is the original 2.0 aluminum case uh it's been built out to 2.7 rs specs and uh two uh two seven engines were obtained to get a perfect crank and uh, of course it's been balanced and everything and uh, it's got um, 
I have take, taken some liberty in terms of being original to the day. These are PMOs, they're not Weber's. Um, and uh, it puts out about 220 horsepower. Um, it's got redundant fuel pump and a redundant coil. In case there's a failure, you can just move it over to the other one. Um, the shroud is, is actually a 911R shroud um, made by, I forget his name, somebody in New Hampshire who does a beautiful job. And uh, I just thought the, that amber shroud would look nice in this particular engine bay. And, um, and it's got some original bits though, like the, those fog hoses are uh, very brittle and usually don't survive. And um, I'm afraid to even touch those. But they, um, you know, so the car, I've tried to keep it pretty authentic uh, wherever I could. Uh, you know, I know you said you did some high performance driving. Do you actually still do rallying with it? I do. Uh, we were actually in the Monty Shelton Northwest Rally, my mechanic and I, and we ended up canceling at the last minute this year because their last day was the day we really needed to get down here. Uh, this was in the concourse, uh, the Carmel concourse. They had a limited edition this year, and I won that last year, and he invited me back this year uh, for this limited edition. Um, and so um, I brought it down for that. And so once I volunteered to do that, because otherwise I wasn't coming for that since I when you win, you don't come the next year. And uh, so that canceled that rally. But uh, we, I, I do time, speed, distance rallies. Not very good. <laughs> well, I think it's testament that here we are in Monterey week, and this is car happy week. This is a, you know, where you don't even usually do a double take when you see a Porsche. But the fact that we got so many people coming around taking a look at this car, it's, it's very impressive. Uh, only here during Monterey week.